Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues A to Z in which we're playing as everyone's favorite old group in Fallout, well usually, the Boomers. So I used to play, I played this nation way way back in the day with a unique focus tree because at the time there was a unique mod, some mod for Old World Blues that gave us a lot of different focuses but right now we're pretty much on the sort of generic, uh, not tribal but civilized tree. Our forefathers were simple yet wise men, working the land and seeking a better life being for the children. Their hard work and determination gives the nation, and for that we'll be forever thankful. What they gave us. Every settlement is built on the backs of those who came before, and those who managed to escape a living from the ruins of the old world. We're defined by what it was that our forefathers left behind for us, and while we can never pay them, remembering where it was that we came from will help us look to the future. Clean water? That's actually not bad, that's pretty good. Also, but between the, now and then when I've played as a generic focus before, things have changed, actually, with the generic focuses, so. Uh, I noticed Air Force Base, Arms Workshops, Firepower. Honestly, that makes the most sense. Clean water, though. Yeah. Defense of the homeland. Homestead. Firepower, caps, resources, all essential to life in the wasteland. That applies to our nation as well. Survive and focus our efforts and dedicate ourselves to a single common purpose. What will we become? The wasteland lays before us. Savage, untamed, degenerate, and cruel. We must seek purpose and look at the entirety of a blasted nation ahead of us and tame it. Wander, forefathers, and survive. Not only survive, but thrive and make the impossible come true after the apocalypse. What kind of city are we? And a settlement worth a darn. That's something that does particularly well. Booze, guns, water, you name it. Something, someone's out there doing it and making a killing while doing it. But folks like us, you think big, we think big picture. And do half a dozen things really. It's how you stay on top. It's how you become a hot spot settlement. How firm are and scoundrels? Probably not. Vice? Well, sell whatever someone wants. That's a lot more political power. Salvage, metal, water, everything else. I like that one. I kind of want to do city advice, but it doesn't make any sense for us. Uh, this makes more sense. Even though I did do the other one, we got more water. I want more political power, but we're going to go with this one. Then, what will we become? It's a question everyone's loves. What will we become? What do we want to be? Every settlement is a little different. Just most want to be safe. They want to be raiders to stop coming. They want the mutants just to leave the area, and they want it, uh, the water to stay clean. But us, we know you can't get there without greater ambitions. Yes, please. Become powerful. Not bad. Become advanced. It's not bad. Become wealthy. Um, we're boomers. We'll, we will become powerful. Sounds like the probably best option. Become advanced. Well, we already have... We, we want to get them bombers. So we only have intermediate research speed, though. Or intermediate research. Uh, wealthy. We build things. We get factory outputs. Become powerful. Let's go with that one. So really, this is kind of different because we do get another research slot, which is actually really cool. We do want some arms workshops pretty quickly as well, so we can go to war. Caravan guards, starting leader, militia commanders, fighting the schools. A nation is only as strong as we can citizen, and everyone knows that knowledge is power. Massive undertaking to both have children and adults be able to educate themselves from scavenged books, and teaching class will let our nation better itself intellectually, which can only lead to new breakthroughs. Establish laboratory. Gather scientists and engineers to dedicate buildings and equipments, in which they can experience or experiment and think uh, and thinkers will considerably improve their working conditions, allowing them to work on more projects at the same time, increasing their intellectual output. But in the garage, multiple garages are formed around the country, dealing with the restoration and even manufacturing vehicles. As such, they make valuable assets for both from the mechanical expertise and experience dealing with power packs as well as engines. We should fund this garage to let them continue their operations, gaining some additional workshops in the process. Working a palisade. We cannot afford to target and uh, destroy threats effectively without casualties. We simply do not have the training. As an intermediate measure until we can better train our military forces, we'll teach them entrenchment strategies such as uh, mowing, firing tactics to keep enemies at bay, as well as proper trench digging procedures and militia commanders, so we get some better leaders. Given command, giving command of our militia squads to the trained veterans will let officers already have already having a frontline experience deploy along our troops. <clears throat> Increasing the effectiveness and letting your command staff understand the requirements of intense battle better than anyone else. So we'll go through all this stuff. Um, we care about guards, hired gunsmiths would be pretty good too. So I guess it's one arms workshop, which is okay. Infantry equipment, military factory construction speed is not bad, but we do have four research slots, which is nice. Pretty generic. Um, book, big book of science. We'll probably wait to do that one. Um, transportation vehicles are okay. We could use more resources, really. So we'll do all th these. Ooh, that's not bad, Mark. Ooh, that's not bad either. Plan a wall. Further research into advanced outpost construction as well as a streamlined design both in integrating into the desert environment. And starting to resist small arms foul will let us construct military outposts at a much faster rate to protect our territory. And finalize the defenses, because we will go to war soon. The priority is the protection of our population in city center. As such, multiple interweaving lines of defense will be established on its outer perimeter. We cannot allow the enemy to break through to massacre our people. I will never let them. Our stand will be here, done here. No, not one step back. And also, I did, did divide up the world. So the think tank is here instead of the Mojave chapter. We have Jacobstown, Jacobston, uh, War Legend. They want to go to war probably. And we do have New Vegas here still. Um, but I did divide up just a few more nations, such as the New Canaan. 
and other, and uh, yeah, this is the world where we're at, and we'll see what happens on A Historical. It's time for you and me to beat up some uh, strip mutants. By the meantime, we've done like political reorganization. As we begin to realize how truly awful the way sign is, we must look into every aspect of our society to make sure it survives. Our political system cannot be left aside in the time of strife. It's time to act. So I went with the people this time, because we're a bunch of boomers. Our people is our strength. From the worker to the farmer, the engineer to the soldier, they all form the very core of our nation. As long as we give them the political strength they deserve, it's time for the common man to rise up and lead our nation to prosperity along the liberal country. Council of the people. Our people now unite under a common cause. Every voice has a say. And our society is more unified than ever. With citizens having a say in everyday politics, the living standards slowly improves, and with them the stability of our country. More than ever, militias are bolstered, dozens of citizens enlisting to protect our peaceful home, their peaceful home. Never shall we be broken, our nation shall stand. Now, I wanted to get down here to go to the Lord of the People so that we can get some more political power. Just why war goes times on us, I don't really care about, but that extra 0.3 political power is going to come in very, very handy when we want to core a lot of stuff. As the trust in the council rises, so does the faith of the people in our political system. So there's support from the youngest children, the oldest elderly, let our council benefit from the great power and changing in our government, allowing us faster changes to our policies. The nation stands by us, and we shall not disappoint. Well, disappoint just a little bit. Center of the community. We're going to help expand outward without looking inward. The center of our nation is a peaceful community, composed of hardworking civilians to take care of them, increase our industrial capacity, can begin expansion pro expansion program over core city. More factories, more space for people, and ever, ever more development. And recruit caravan guards? Sure, why not? More and more commercial convoys pass through cities, and we have no curious thing. Guards assigned to them are not actually employees, but mercenaries. Uh, promise them a place to stay in, better work contracts than their merchant employers, let us recruit them into our army, bolstering the ranks with trained professionals. So we're slowly, slowly trying to expand out here. I haven't used Khan's commands yet, but... <clears throat> we're doing okay against them. Song from the front, boomer forces have fought heroically against our enemies, and one of the soldiers composed a little poem from the front. We can play the sol this throughout the nation, or rally the nation to the cause. Yeah, we could probably use more war support right now, in all honesty. That'd probably be for the best. Go do some less. Stuff. Five feature slots are so nice. Just so nice. So where are the enemies? There you go, nice. Uh, just take you to go to there. I want you to go, just go there. You to go there. We'll start splitting our guys up just a little bit. So we can make an instrument eventually. Here. Oh, hello. Go make an instrument there. If we can't win her just yet, that's fine. Oh, so they do have three divisions. They rush out a division. Okay. So the AI does do that. It's good to know. Good, and they are gone. Nice. Don't give them a second to rest. Or too much seconds. There you go. Not bad. Um, we will need some anti-tank. We are going down conventional warfare, as we should. Uh, robots are okay. Bicycles, I mean, maybe. But I would like to go to war with New Vegas, but we don't have any anti-tank yet. They've only 4 to 10 divisions. How long would it take? So it took 170 days to go to war with them. With 170 days, we might have some anti-tank, actually, by the end there. So that actually might be a really good goal for us, as we are researching anti-tank. We actually might be able to get them. And we got them. Absolutely beautiful. Well, we're not quite ready for New Vegas. They have quite a few guys. We've only six divisions. But we're going to go to war with the think tank, because they have no divisions, apparently. And uh, they're pretty seemingly weak. So they're probably next on our docket. Now, maybe we'll try to go to the Sky Reavers next. 110 days is quite a few days, but uh, let's try to go to war with these guys. Because they have no divisions. Even though that does put us in a terrible position later on. Uh, when we do want to go out and, uh, well, have to fight Legion probably eventually too. So, uh, we'll get there. We'll get her done. Because they're super damn. The Legion will want our territory. The NCR will probably want our territory. New Vegas will want our territory. We're probably setting ourselves up for failure here. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm still waiting to get more compliance here, which kind of does suck. But we will go from outsider volunteers eventually to outsider battalions to get more daily compliance gain. And so that'd be really nice. Mm, posters, transportation, higher guards. Dire need for more firepower can be resolved in quite a simple way. Sending messengers throughout our nation to recruit any gunsmiths available into our armed forces. Both increase our manufacturing capabilities and bring their small arms expertise into our ranks. What's not to love about that? Nice. As we've also been trying to... Uh, Increase the size of these divisions. There's only six. So 18 combat, but we do now have uh, demo equipment. Even though they should have the anti tank and recon on them as well. So there's that too. Come on, the faster take it, the faster we can core this stuff. So well, let's go. Oh. And we got him. Should be nice, but now we all have like no map or no guns, but 
We'll probably do this. Accept the Reds weapon to manufacturers. Massive investments in our local weaponsmith will help recruit more people, expand our operations, acquire advanced equipment. In return, we'll benefit from weaponry provided at a reduced bulk price, and have priority on firearm batch over private citizens in establishing armory. Establishing a centralized armory building in every city center will simplify supplies, increase access to ammo, give a better working space to our military industry, as well as an emergency location for militia members to go in the case of enemy attacks. Militia drills. Improved drill structuring and trimming of unnecessary parts of it, as well as streamlining the training program given across the country, overseen now by veterans and military personnel. We will yield a noticeable increase in the speed at which we can inform our militias. So, the utmost importance we keep an edge on field manpower over our enemies and militia organization. A reorganization of our command staff, as well as a division structuring, will yield an increased tactical efficiency during battle. Such measures will let our troops fight more effectively and maintain formation longer in the face of overwhelming odds, giving time for reinforcements. Boom, boom, boom. It's time to go to Area 51, my friends, and we've already got a war, and they've been attacking us for a little bit pretty good so far for casualties for them. Well, for us, really. And they're almost out of manpower, which is quite good, as we'll keep expanding our army, but these guys keep getting bigger, so we gotta deal with them later. Um, oh, I guess I'd, defeat, I'd split up the 80s as well, which is kinda nice. So I don't to worry about them. So after that, we might actually go to war with the White Legs. Going that direction might prove to be very useful for us. Um, so let's see. We'll let you see. We are doing de de decently okay here. Um, I think the reason why we're doing so well is because we did put on some grenade rifles, and we get plus 50% more soft stack and heart attack. Um, with our demo equipment, which is very nice. We have even better recovery rate with the guns of Nellis, so... It's actually very, very nice. Actually being able to actually do damage and whatnot. It's actually really nice, so we'll do that. Coordinated Assault, of course, Trooper Warfare. It's very good, too. Gives a little more time, split up just a little bit here. And, you know, what? You know, what if we did that? I'd have you guys go up that direction, too. Can you guys actually do that, maybe? Maybe. However, the issue becomes, what if we get encircled here? If we can break through here, because I don't want to get encircled. Also, we do have a couple planes, a couple fighters, and a couple cast close air support uh, doing their job, so. That should be really nice. If we get up to here, that'd be great. Oh, you guys keep staying keep here. You know what? You hold. We'll go just straight up north. Go that direction. Right there. If you can't, yes, yes. Success. Four divisions go bye bye, and then we just do a general attack. You just hang up then. Three divisions go bye bye, yes. They have quite a few divisions, though. Still quite a few divisions. Uh, we're okay. We still want to save this political power to core more stuff. We're getting closer to the Jacobstown, so. Come on, and do we got them? Do we got them? Yeah, we do. And there you go. Very nice. If we can attack here, that'd be. Phenomenal. Let them attack us as much as they want, you know, it just drains their man own manpower. They've lost over 2,000. Alright, Jack, we'll save 5,000. They're out of manpower. Decent, decent, decent. I'm going to need you to come up here real quick. Do we actually do that? Uh, no, not really. It's too much. Attacking over river is a bit too much, so we actually might need to attack this way then. Just go there then. Training with any of all resources, just slam them down if you can. Most your training's nice. Um, go ahead, go over there. That'd be nice. And immediately start doing that too. So if we can get over here real quick, is that over a river? It is over a river, which is very bad. Um, could you do that as well? Finding a river sucks. He's level 4, he's not very good at very much, but he's good, good at planning. He's gonna be infantry guy, so. You already have Mysterious Stranger. Vision organization, less organization losses, that'd be probably for the best. Keep dropping their strength if you can. I know I, I hate using infantry because they're usually so bad. But right now they're doing okay. Much drills. Followed up with militia recruitment posters. Making our most trained personnel or elite units into larger than last soldiers, portrayed as tough, professional, and ruthless, will make us effective propaganda. Showing those commanders ready to take on and defeat any enemy, we'll both reach our population and inspire them into listening to, into our militia. And then establish trade routes. Decrease our commercial trades and lay the formation or foundation for future endeavors in these matters. We'll spend time in caps towards improving our roads and trails leading to and from our cities. Brown and convoys as well as trail walkers can now travel more easily and set our territory with them. Profits will flow. So, so trying here, huh? Hurting us a little bit here, but you know, we'll, we'll get him. We'll get him eventually. 
Because they keep recycling more people, but they're going to run out of people eventually. Dedicated equipment is good. Um, we're doing quite well, I'd say, so far. <coughs> Better than I thought we would with the boomers here. Maybe we just attack that direction. Can you do that? Yeah, maybe. Keep them up. As long as we go some direction here. Potato farmers. Organizing a deeper farming system re relying on a simple backyard gardens will allow every family to feed themselves to a small extent, lessening the strain on our agricultural system and letting our population grow with their food supply. Flame wise, we're doing okay. She joined the NCR state. Come on, you can do it. I'm about ready to force the attack here. Help, melt. Lost 300. They've lost 2400. <clears throat> and what else we got? Oh, we got that one too. Ooh. Keep these guys in here. You're gonna force it for now. Screw it. You're gonna force it. We need you to force it. I'm sick of this. You either went here or here. There's either two options. Aaron Kimball's been elected. And. Standardized military, sure. Our military use vast amounts of different equipment, be it firearms, armor, even sometimes basic supply of food. Creating and standardizing a basic armament and supply cable simplify our supply line considerably and reduce the strain felt both their offensive and offensive operations. We encourage mothers or, or uh, women to serve. Everyone should be able to serve. The women of our nation are still afraid for they think war should be left to men. We'll show them that they can help destroy the enemies to defend the nation as well. Sniper training infiltration tactics, sapper drills, and well, they will kill raiders just as effectively as any man. This is so stupid. How, how are we not able to do this? Seriously, bro. They are by far completely out of manpower. They should honestly be out of equipment as well. But unfortunately they're not for some stupid reason. Five hundred and eleven, come on. Alright, you're done. I'm switching you over to this. Start bombing the crap out of them. Finally we got it, Jesus Christ. You stay there, you go do that. Cool. That's better. My god. That is so stupid. But in the meantime, can we grow more stuff? Yeah, we can grow this. Nice. That's good. Can we grow this? Yes. Good. It's 49, which is not ideal, but whatever. If we can grow that river, it's probably the hardest thing. So we can grow a lot of things actually here. Thank god. Can we grow down here yet? Yes. 44. Hidden Valley itself. Yes. 54 is needed. So that really helped out with hopefully manpower, factories, you know, all sorts of good stuff like that. Definitely get more of these guys. What plans are going to be crucial for what we really want to do? Here we know Modoc. Uh, get the butt over here. Because then we'll attack here and go up there, and we'll probably need to reach us to find these guys too. Map is nice. Supply consumption. It's really good. Metal working. There's efficiency gain. Nice. Lost almost 700 versus nearly 3,000. Recycling. Grab some more standardized tools. Did we actually break through? Finally, my god, that took forever. That's ridiculous. Just blow them all up as much as you can, even though they're not getting blown up at all right now. For some very odd reason. Let's 
good. You more playing? Yeah, they deserve it to completely die. Nice. Good. What do you a lot of these guys do? Then, do a general attack. Force them to die. That's what I'm, I'm sick and tired of these guys. Let them all die. Look, projects, pretty cool. You want to force fence? It's fine with us. You are still learning, you're becoming a desert fox, which is good. In the meantime, we're core what else? Let's go with this one. More resources. Resources are very nice to have. This way you might be able to cut them off, perhaps. Be nice. Nice. Get up there. Cut them completely off. Eventually. Some from the front. Well, this is more political power. Being, eh, political power would be pretty good for us right now, actually. Let's grab the political power. So we can use it just to core more stuff right now, immediately. Is there more factories? Yes. Come on. Do not get in a circle here, you stupid idiots. There you go. Standardize it. Encourage women to serve. They can die just like any man. They want to. Force it. You just get to Area 51. Come on, help them out. Lost about a thousand versus three thousand. Encourage women to serve. Old World Tactics. Inspiration taken from old data terminals and military manuals will be put to use to improve your armed forces. Old World Tactics are effective if two crew for the way. Sun combine them with skirmish and guerrilla strategy as well as survival training will make our army into a capable fighting force. Now fallback tactics. Specialized recon troops constantly scouting our rear lines for retreat routes as well as pre-planned reinforcement defensive positions. Behind the front line will make our force able to tactically retreat under covering fire instead of simply running as fast as possible and solely in their underwear. Come on. Level 5 already. Pretty good. Pretty good. Go in, come on. Go to Area 51. We don't have time for people like you to just waste time. There we go, that took way too long, in my opinion, but whatever. Nope. There's some big boys we gotta deal with now. Alright, that's not good. Alright, we might rethink our strategy then. Well then. Hey, you got some switch forces, oh, that's nice. The only 10 combo with, which does suck, but, you know, details. Uh, promote. Division defense. Order of the British Empire, huh? Let's do that one. And gun nut. Uh, co organization. I like that one a lot too. They have a lot of divisions. Not ideal. Come on, get your butts down here. Just repeat itself, sell. Volley off of that ciphers, get some radio. So, unfortunately, I can't click on them to so see how strong they are. But they're probably relatively strong, so we're probably going to end it here, so then we get ready to go to war with them in the next episode. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and we'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see if we can hold off against New Vegas. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day.